Last night shopping in homeware store Dunelm, one woman was shocked to see the products on offer in the Mother's Day gift section. She wrote, I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that most mums will not be delighted with a tablecloth for Mother's Day. <laughs> I think most mums want an end to the gender pay gap, <laughs> equitable access to affordable childcare and a break. I'm not so sure they want table linen. <laughs> she was, of course, having a little bit of a joke and the store has said that the signage was a one-off error. <laughs> but has she got a point? Do mums maybe just need a break instead of nice yeah. tea towels, Janet, or tablecloths? Or where, where do you stand Definitely. on Definitely. I'm 100% with her. What mums want is affordable childcare, um, decent education for their kids, um, and someone else to do the housework. <laughs> Yeah. In a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you sure. can't expect your kids to get you all of that for Mother's Day. <laughs> well, <laughs> they really. could do the hoovering, the yeah, ironing. They, they could yeah. do that, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I... You know, it's really... I think it's a lot... Of, Mother's Day comes a week after my birthday, so my kids... Oh, look, my and kids, what day is that? Oh, it's on Sunday, the top of March. <laughs> 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 Honestly, all cards, gratefully. <laughs> um, no, but it is because they... They never know what to buy me for my birthday, and then they got the pressure on Mother's Day, and I'm like, listen, Mother's Day, it's every day for me, Mother's Day. Oh. Um, so they don't need to really buy me presents, but when they're little, when they were little, things like they'd buy me a tea towel or something, I never got offended and say, you know, to my five-year-old, that's very sexist of you, actually. <laughs> when, when you were allowed to pick wildflowers, not anymore, but when you were allowed to pick them in the hedges, we used, I can remember from my mum, all the primroses and the bluebells and the daffodils of this age. But you see, I think there's so much emotion on Mother's Day uh, when you get to a certain point in life, if you've lost your mum, and I'm quite sure some of you in the audience today would identify with this. I miss my mum every Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And there, when I was doing Radio 2, I used to get a lot of requests, obviously, for Mother's Day. And when I was reading them out, I was thinking of my own mum, and so the tears at times would be almost dripping off your chin. But, the, but after we lost Karen, the first Mother's Day was, oh. Oh, I yeah. mean, awful to contemplate. Mm -hmm. You know, I just couldn't think about it. But I've got two wonderful boys. And Paul, who's the older of the two, I taught him how to make a pavlova cake. Me making pavlova cake, taught him when he was about 15. And he hadn't made one for years and years, but on that first Mother's Day, uh, Michael and Paul, they brought all the food. They said, don't buy anything, we're going to cook lunch. And Paul had made a pavlova cake. Nice. Do you know, I love that more than anything. Yeah, priceless. Priceless, uh, priceless. yeah. Mm -hmm. For me... Why are you looking at me like, oh, she's scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to think national. what I got my mother on Mother's Day and can't remember a single thing. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Did you ever buy even just flowers? Or oh, yeah, I would have yeah. sent her flowers, well, for sure. Nice. For yeah, sure, not nice. a tea towel, though. I <laughs> love... You mentioned cards. A homemade card is the best oh, thing yes. ever for yeah. me. I mean, why do you relief? From the children, yes. Oh. They are only four and almost two this weekend as well, oh, actually. Lovely. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, but th lovely. that's really special. With the little hand prints that they've coloured in and just like glittery mess. But it's really again nice. priceless. Yeah. Exactly. And you'll keep them forever. I will keep them.